How often do you find yourself being lazy or tired, or even find it difficult to bend over to pick up the pencil that you just dropped? Um, sometimes you feel really stressed from school and work and you just need a way to relax. Well then yoga is what you need. Yoga has many benefits and will do wonders for the human body. First of all, what is yoga? Yoga is an ancient form of a physical and spiritual discipline that uh, joins the body and soul and mind together. The word yoga uh, has a root word yoga, which means to unite. Uh, yoga is performed by combining various postures called asanas and breathing techniques called pranayams to condition the mind and body. Uh, yoga increases flexibility, makes muscles stronger, and allows increased concentration on one's thought and relaxes the body and mind. How is yoga beneficial? Well, yoga conditions the body and mind with the uh, combinations of breathing and postures. The postures and flexibility allow the body to stretch, which increase the stretches in muscles, glands, and other internal organs of the body, allowing for more blood flow to go to the certain parts of the body, allowing nourishment and healing. Uh, yoga helps regulate blood pressure, cure various diseases such as diabetes and other stuff like that. And it allows the body to completely detoxify itself by, of course, all the blood flow going in and cleansing out the body. Gaining flexibility will increase lubrication for joints, tendons, and ligaments, which in return cures things like arthritis, joint pains, and muscle cramps. Yoga can help gain muscle strength also by stretching out the muscles, allowing more blood flow to repair the muscles, obviously. During the postures, muscles are contracted and relaxed. The postures help muscle grow and tone the muscles out. Uh, along with the postures, yoga consists of various breathing techniques. Uh, learning these techniques allow you to improve lung capacity, increase oxygen flow into the body. Uh, yoginis, or yoga masters of the ancient times, considered oxygen the most essential part of the most essential nutrient for the body. Oxygen keeps our bodies active, energized, and awake. And it's also a good nutrient for recovery and such. Understanding how we breathe helps better understand ourselves. It helps reduce toxins and body waste from within the body. Learning the various breathing techniques are also good with <coughs> other functions such as the digestive system and uh, the body's metabolism rate. Uh, however, learning the breathing techniques just does not improve the body on a physical aspect, but also improves your mind on a more spiritual and concentrated level. The oxygen level that gets rushed to your brain while you learn these breathing techniques help improve your concentration on any form of thought that you have that you're trying to concentrate on. Um, the American Yoga Association has described not just one form of yoga, but there are also many various different forms of yoga, and a few of the main types of yoga <coughs> I will describe to you guys. Uh, Hatha Yoga is the most common, which is known also here on the West Coast side and the Eastern side of the world. Uh, Hatha Yoga it consists of postures and breathing techniques. Uh, if you were looking to become a well-rounded person, a well-rounded individual, then you might consider the path of Raja Yoga, which focuses on exercise, breathing, meditation, and the focus of study. Um, the most difficult path that was described is Nana Yoga, which focuses on the path of wisdom and knowledge, and it's said that it takes a person several decades to attain this kind of yoga or master this form of yoga. Um, if you were to look for a more spiritual or experience a more of a cosmic presence, you might want to go down the path of bhakti yoga, which focuses on extreme devotion and concentration upon one's concept of God. Um, yoga has many different benefits for the body and the mind, and if you find yourself in need of relieving stress or just understanding your body in more in a better way, then yoga is what you would do. Yoga helps us learn exactly what our body 
how our body acts, how it works, and will better improve your life and the quality of life over time. It was 511. Well, the rhetorical question at the beginning is fine, and I thought you had a good transition to the topic. It starts off as a persuasive speech because you do state a point of view, but the more you get into the presentation, the less persuasive it is and the more informative it is. You kind of get, at one point, you get to describing the different types of yoga, and that works really well in a, in a uh, informative speech, but uh, to the demonstration that any of them are successful or accomplished or that they're better than other ways of achieving these objectives, I don't really get much of that. You know, it, it's like I said, uh, very descriptive of the process. Uh, there are a lot of claims being made early on about the benefits of yoga, and I think I need to see a little bit more proof. The one source that you that I heard clearly cited was the American Yoga Association. I'm not sure that that's. Uh, an independent authority that you want to cite for proof of the effectiveness of yoga. It's kind of like asking a karate teacher, you know, uh, so is karate a good martial art for me to learn? <laughs> you know, well, yeah, as a matter of fact, you know, as opposed to saying, no, what you should do is go across the street and learn jujitsu from the, you know, <laughs> the place across the, uh, the dojo across the street. That's just not going to, you know, you, we need some outside information, some evaluation, some testimonies, some examples. You, you've got kind of hypothetical descriptions of what the benefits would be. It just didn't seem to, to gel as a persuasive. Like I said, I think it's the start of a good informative speech, but it's not really taking a, a, a strong enough point of view. You need to convince people here that yoga is going to make a difference in their lives, that it's something that could really be helpful. And I thought you had a good setup, at the, like I said, at the very beginning of the speech, but there's no follow through on that. And re what comes later on is more just about you know, the techniques there. Okay, thank you.